and open your cPanel. When you open your cPanel and logged in, you'll come to a uh, icons. Uh, there are different types of cPanels these days now. So my one is different from yours. Uh, but all of them would have icons. So you can either click on legacy file manager or the file manager. And then my one, uh, it asks me where, where, where I want to open. I can go directly on the public HTML from here. Y your one might be different. Uh, you might have just straight folders. So you can, it would be something like this one. Scroll down and click on public HTML folder. Here you will see the file you just uploaded and in my case is this one down here. Click on the name, not the folder, the name and then click on extract files, extract content, file contents and that will extract everything that you have in that file folder and create folders for you. Once you've done that, you would have a folder called HTML and that's this one down here. Uh, before we go into HTML folder, we need to create a database. So, we need to back up and go on to our cPanel homepage. and scroll up and see if you can find uh, where you have the databases. Click on MySQL database. Here you'll be able to create your database. And I have already created one for myself, but I can always create another one and show you how it's done. So just put a name down here whatever you want to call that database. In this one I would be calling PHP Nuke and create. When you have created a database, go back, click on go back and you go to assign a user to that database. Uh, if you have, have you already have saved one, it's, uh, in my case I have mother, but you can always create another user and say for example, give any name you want and I would say you can name it whatever you want and uh, go with a dash and then give it a and then type the same password again and it will give you the strength what your password is you can make it stronger if you want to by uh, making it longer and create a user Now I have created PHP Nuke as a username and GBP7041 as, a, as my username, as password. We go back and check the database. You should have a database in PH, PHP mean called PHP Nuke. There it is. I haven't assigned a user to this as as it is so we got to assign a user to this database and to do that you scroll down and scroll to the side and you'll have a drop down menu of the users and in this case I have PHP Nuke as a user and then 
the database I'm going to assign to would be PHP new as well and submit uh, it will ask you what privileges you want to give the database and uh, as you are an admin you want all the privileges so you just click here and it will show up everything and click make changes Now mother of PHP nuke was added to database mother of PHP nuke. So click go back. Now the database has been created, but we need to upload the tables to that database that are that you have on the folder that you downloaded. If you have unzipped the folder on your computer, you would have the folder. So we go back on from this screen okay. you can click on databases here and click on PHP my admin When you click on P PHP My Admin, you'll come to a program uh, where your databases are. In this case, I have two databases. One is down here, and then the one I just created, but I don't have any tables there yet. So click on Databases, and then click on the one that you just created. Here we got to put the tables now. Now it asks you for a table if you want to create a table manually, but we already have that created in a folder. So click on import and then click on browse and find the folder on your computer that had that you unzipped uh, the PHP new unzip folder at uh, the zip folder you had you, you need to unzip it as well on your computer so that you have the copy of it uh, in my case I have within C files C drive in and then PHP new 1.2 that's the one that I, I have unzipped the other one was a zip folder this is an unzip folder so I'll click on the folder and you see the HTML file that you already got on your server uh, it has a lot of other folders and files that you already have on your server uh, we go back on the folder and then click on squeal file and this is the tables that are required for the content management system to work so you click on that name and open when you've done that you click on go that will create all the tables that are required for the database to work with the content management system there you are it has created 106 tables that are required with the database you can close this now and then come back to 